from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. Hello, I'm Jim Patton with this 10 News update. A CHP motorcycle officer injured after a crash on the 78 freeway in San Marcos. It happened just after 9 this morning near the 15. Officials say the officer was rushed to the hospital. Several lanes in the area closed while officials investigate. Details on what led to the collision are still unclear. Also, no word on the condition of the other drivers involved in this crash. Well, today, the brother accused of starting a fire that killed his sister and parents in Logan Heights scheduled to be in court. Wilbur Romero was arrested last week on suspicion of arson, first degree murder and attempted first degree murder. His parents, Jose and Nicolasa, died in the fire, along with his sister who used her body to shield and protect her little brother from the flames. Court documents show this wasn't the first time Romero targeted his family. He allegedly attacked his father with a brick and rocks in September last year. San Diego City Council will vote today on whether to move forward with plans to turn a motel in Nestor into a recovery home for homeless people. The facility would be used to treat low-level criminals with a history of drug problems and homelessness. Neighbors are pushing back against the plan, saying investors will not be interested in the area if the hotel is turned into that treatment center. City was told it needed a coastal development permit for the project to move forward. Today, the City Council will take on that issue at its meeting. Time now to get a check on our weather. Megan? And it is hot today, hotter than even yesterday. Temperatures trending about 10 to 20 degrees above normal. A heat advisory for the coast and valleys until 5 p.m. for temperatures generally in the 90s. In fact, mostly low 90s along our coast with some mid 90s, while inland neighborhoods will be in the mid to upper 90s. Mid 90s also in the deserts with 70s in the mountains, and it will be dry and gusty through the early afternoon with winds tapering off as we head into this evening. Temperatures will trend above normal through Saturday along our coast. We will be cooler tomorrow will drop about 10 degrees back into the 80s, but Thursday and Friday Santa Ana winds will come back through. Friday will be just about as hot as today. We'll see temperatures trending in the 90s through Friday inland. Thursday and Friday we'll see a stronger Santa Ana wind event come through with single digit humidity levels and gusts of 30 up to maybe 60 miles per hour for some areas. So make sure you're staying very fire aware and fire safe this week. Jim. Yeah, that is so dangerous. All right, Megan, thank you. For the latest news, weather and traffic, go to 10news.com or download our free 10 News mobile app in your app store. For 10 News, I'm Jim Patton.